Alright, this is a quick video to walk you through how to sample larger volumes of field sampled water, typically surface waters. This is a 250 ml bottle. Um, you're going to use a setup that looks like this. This is vacuum filtration setup, so we're using the house vacuum here, but you could also use a portable pump. Uh, the line runs to a small sidearm flask here, um, onto the side, and then out at the top and into the sidearm of a one liter flask of sidearm. Uh, this is where the sample will be filtered into. This is a trap in case some water goes through the vacuum line. It won't destroy our vacuum system. So this part uh, comes off here. So this is separate. Be careful with this. Don't let it roll off the table like that. I'll store it like this. So this is what will hold the filter itself. So make sure that it's seated nice. Make sure that your flask can't tip over. It's on this ring here. And then we'll take a .45. Uh, micron nylon filter typically unless you have a specialty need then you may use a PTFE or Teflon filter um, use some forceps to very carefully and cleanly transfer this to the surface of your fritted glass don't touch this with your fingers uh, you can either use gloves or tweezers like this and then we will take the body the reservoir which note can hold up to about 300 mils and this has a ground glass joint here this is where the vacuum seal is made this holds the filter in place it's best to do this with two hands but I'm holding the video here so just make sure those are aligned and then take this clamp that looks like this and open it up and uh, hold the whole assembly together so the setup looks something like this when you are all ready to go. So to actually do the filtration now, you'll want to do one of two different things. So one, it, it just depends on what you have, how the, what the cleanliness of this object is, since this is collecting your fluids. So you either want to do a pre-rinse like you would with a syringe. So pour in um, a small amount, uh, close off the top, and rinse all of the parts of your assembly with that or if this has been acid washed or cleaned, triple DI cleaned and then dried, then uh, you can skip that step and uh, proceed to the filtration step. So I just poured in about five mils into here to pre-wet my filter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the vacuum line, open that and see the fluid drain down. Okay, so I've got a nice wet filter. I'm gonna leave the vacuum open and I'm gonna go ahead and sort of slowly pour this in, and I wanna keep that filter wet the whole time during the duration of the filtering process. And so this looks pretty good. It's a nice clean sample. It's going pretty quick. If it's a dirtier sample, I may not pour the entire thing in in the event that my filter gets clogged, in which case you'll need to pour your reservoir back into another reception vessel like this and exchange the filter for a new one. If it looks like you got clean water and it's filtering nicely, you may just go ahead and pour the entire thing in as long as the volume uh, is tolerant to that. Okay, here's the setup about a minute later. So you can still see it flowing nicely. Uh, it gives you a sense for the time. If you have a pretty turbid, dirty sample, it may be helpful to do a syringe filter first uh, just to get some of that larger stuff out of there before you do the 0.45 vacuum filter, otherwise it can take too long. Once the filtration is done, which it almost is, you will want to turn off the vacuum and then disassemble your filtration apparatus above, being very careful not to break these objects. Uh, remember, this is under vacuum, so if you have a tight seal, this object may not immediately want to break suction from the seal. So you want to hold the whole thing and gently rock it until you break some suction. You'll hear some air enter. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so filtering is done. Go over here, turn off my vacuum so it's right angle to the line here. Now I'm going to look at this object up here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And what I like to do is with two hands, just rock this back and forth, and that's all it did to break that seal. So that was a pretty nice one. And now you can very carefully remove the septum. There should not be a vacuum in here to remove this. 
slight vacuum. Okay, remove that. I'm going to place this upside down. Now you'll detach the line and remove and transfer your filtered water into a clean vessel for uh, whatever you're going to use it for.